Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video. This is another Lumino reaction, and this one is another space reaction as well. I don't think I've actually, I have done videos from Lumino sort of related to space and stuff, but this is like an eight part series, I think, from what I saw in the comments in my previous space reaction, asking for suggestions. And the video is Top 10 Facts Space Part 1 by Lumino, like I said. But yeah, you know how I feel about his channel. He is one of my favourite sort of channels to react to because his videos are so interesting. And you know how I feel, sort of feel about sort of, well not sort of, how I do feel about space videos and learning about space because it's just one of the most mind-blowing things and there's just unlimited things to learn. It's just, it's just endless and I just really sort of find it relieving but also scary seeing these types of videos. And yeah, maybe some of these facts I'll already know from previous videos but I'm sure I'm going to learn a lot more, a lot more new things that are going to blow my mind and that's what I'm here for with YouTube videos. I'm here to learn and I'm here to enjoy and to just see craziness going on in the world and just have a laugh but let's get into this one let's check this out and again if you want me to do if you want me to react to the whole um eight part or eight bit um video series from lumino let me know and i'll do so this, this is six years ago as well so nearly seven years ago so this is a long long time ago from lumino but yeah quick shout out to my instagram and my twitter links in the description for that same for my um, patreon links are all there i've got a lot of patreon exclusive videos some space reactions just all types basically crime sort of reactions so if you're interested the links are all there but let's get into this one this is loud as fuck this is such an og video man it's like so long ago if two pieces of metal touch in space they will melt together wait what together and become one it's something called cold welding or co wait what is that true if two bits of metal... Wait, what? Contact welding. This doesn't happen on Earth because the atmosphere puts a layer of oxidized material between the surfaces which makes the welding process impossible. This might seem like it would be a big problem for satellites, space stations and the like, but because the metals come from Earth, they're already coated with the material. In fact, the only evidence this process okay. actually takes place have come from controlled experiments deliberately designed to provoke it. Wait, that is crazy. Most of us think we know the planets of our solar system. We have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. Mars. I don't know. What's, I don't actually know the order. Saturn, Jupiter, <laughs> um, Pluto, which is sort of considered a dwarf planet now. What other ones are there? Is that it? Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Uranus. We that also have Pluto, but yeah. sadly, as of 2006, it's no longer classified as a planet. Instead, it's now a member of the new dwarf planet category. But, what if I told you that Pluto is not the only dwarf planet? For example, there's Ceres, Eris, Makemake, Haumea, Senna, okay. Orcus, Quawar, Exion, Verona, Chaos and many more which has not been given any official oh, wow. names yet. Ceres is especially interesting as it's orbiting the sun between Mars and Jupiter. When you mention black holes, the first thing people often imagine is something like this. An almost two-dimensional disc-shaped object that pulls everything in on one side with nothing appearing on the other. This is of course all thanks to the interpretations of black holes by popular sci-fi movies and TV shows. In reality, a black hole is not much unlike a star or planet in the sense that it's actually a sphere with an immense gravitational field that pulls everything in from all directions. Oh wow, okay. I see again, the I sun, just you, you hole, know that thing that's I'm keeping still... you alive and shit, is actually not jello. It only appears yellow because of the Earth's atmosphere. In reality, the sun outputs all colors in the visible spectrum at almost an equal intensity. Wait, what? Are you mad? Which means the true color of the sun is actually white. Wait, what? See how? <laughs> see, this just... <sighs> I can't even speak, bro. <laughs> The head is an absolute fuckery, the man. The tagline in the world space, is a fuckery. no one can hear you scream from the movie Aliens from 1979 is entirely true as sound waves cannot travel in a vacuum. Sound waves, unlike what? radio waves, for example, needs particles to travel through. But if you, you ever find yourself in space, 
with a spacesuit, with a friend in another spacesuit, and you realize that <laughs> Likely, your radios yeah. isn't working. I mean, we're, we're all gonna end up in that situation <laughs> at some point. There's another way to communicate. By bumping our helmets against one another. When the helmets touch, they act as a bridge for the sound waves to travel through, and so you'd be able to talk naturally without using any radios or anything else. And by naturally, I mean screaming like you've gone <laughs> insane. That's kind of crazy, actually. Stars can be freaking Make sure weird. Break it. For example, there's a star out there with the memorable name of Wait, literally, I mean, screaming like you've gone insane. Stars can be freaking weird. For example, there's a star out there with the memorable name of Wise 1828 plus 2650. Bro, who names. Who actually names stars and like planets and all this kind of stuff? Is it the scientists or the person who discovers it? Like, bro, why are you naming it what? <laughs> but why? it's not the name which is interesting, rather how cold it is. It's what's huh? called a brown dwarf star, and it's the coldest star ever found with a temperature range of minus 23 to 127 degrees Celsius. What? See, See again, I know like how the stars' lives work, and I don't, I don't actually know, but... The start, how like the lives of stars work, they sort of when they die they get cold. But I didn't realise this cold. So does this mean this just this sun just makes the whole solar system colder then? You know like how the sun um our sun makes it a lot hotter. Does this one make the whole solar system cold? I'm mean, gonna guess that is how it works, right? And is it like fire that's still coming out of it, or is it like just ice? Yeah, a star that can be colder than you are. Another weird star is BPM 37093. Gotta love these names. But the star's core is made of diamond. 10 billion trillion trillion carats of diamond to be precise. What? How? And neutron stars is even weirder. Neutron stars are so dense that a single teaspoon of its material would weigh over 100 million tons. Oh. How do they learn? How do scientists find this stuff out? That's one thing I find crazy. And secondly, it's the fact itself. The fact that people can find this stuff out, or scientists, sorry, not people. Scientists can find this stuff out and actually sort of understand it. And then the fact in itself is just the possibilities of that even being the case. It's just ridiculous, bro. Again, space videos always mess my mind up, but I just, I can never wrap my head, my, wrap my head around just the craziness of what's going on in the world around us and I really can't. Alien life is bound to exist somewhere in the universe, but so far, there's no evidence of that. At least not that the public know of anyway. <laughs> However, what we do know is that oh, there are planets more. out there that has the possibility to sustain life. So-called habitable exoplanets. So far, we've found around 50 such planets, with some oh, wow. being as 50. close as only 20 light years away. But as of yet, we have no way of confirming if these planets <laughs> actually do support years. life, only that they have the unique attributes to possibly do so. In April 2010, radio astronomers reported an unknown object in the galaxy M82. The object had, seemingly out of nowhere, started sending out strange radio waves, which did not look like anything seen anywhere in the universe before. There have been several theories about the nature of this unknown object, but currently, no theory entirely fits the observed data. Did you know that our own galaxy- Wait, I'm- I just stayed you. What did he actually say there? <laughs> My head. In April 2010, radio astronomers reported an unknown object in the galaxy M82. The object had, seemingly out of nowhere, started sending out strange radio waves, which did oh, not look shit. like anything seen anywhere in the universe before. There have oh, been several theories me. about the nature of this unknown object, but currently, no theory entirely fits the observed yes. data. That's kind of wild, man. Did you know that our own galaxy, the Milky Way, is right now colliding with another much smaller galaxy? Yeah, this is galaxy? crazy. 
Well, well this it is. is. Crazy. Galaxy is known as Sagittarius Dwarf Elliptical Galaxy and is currently about 70,000 light years away from Earth. But no worries, it's very unlikely that a star or a planet will crash into one another as they're separated by many light years of empty space. The same thing will happen in a few billion years from now when the Andromeda galaxy will collide with our own and will create a much larger Milk Andromeda galaxy. What the hell? UY <laughs> Scotty is so far the largest star found. Yeah. If it was I've seen videos of this in the past, I've seen videos sort of comparisons between planets and stars and the size of this is I just can't wrap my head around how big this is man I can't I just can't it's just brutally just it's just brutal it's crazy I can't man how it's in the center of our solar system it would engulf every planet all the way out to Jupiter I see one one are you actually shitting on my chair <laughs> wait what was I saying <laughs> shitting on my chair <laughs> are you shitting me are you you're joking, man. Planet all the way out to Jupiter. IC1101 is one of the largest known galaxies in the universe. It holds around 100 trillion stars. <laughs> to put that in perspective, <laughs> our own galaxy, the Milky Way, only contains a measly 400 billion stars. But the absolute largest and most massive object in the observable universe was discovered in November of 2013. It's called the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Corona. Wall. Oh. The Corona's fitting now, isn't it? Sure, it's a so-called galactic filament, or in other words, a huge group of galaxies assembled by gravity. The structure is so huge that scientists can't even explain its existence. It's 10 billion light years away, which means that we see the structure as it was 10 billion years ago. And the universe is only about 13.7 billion oh years old. God. That means the structure had a little more than 3 billion years to form, which scientists say is just not possible. For comparison, our own solar system took around 4.6 billion years to form. The structure is basically too large to exist. I can't. <laughs> it is. I can't, man. I can't. Space is just stupid, man. Wait, he's got the second channel. I didn't even know that. I have to check that out. But yeah, space is just stupid, man. It's stupid. <laughs> I don't get how things are possible like this, man. It's just mental. I know. The, I know the sun isn't jelly. No expected to hear Corona here too. <laughs> Milk Jamida. So that sounds like a nice name for a chocolate bar. Who the hell has counted 100 trillion stars? That's what I'm saying. How do they even judge this kind of stuff? How? I thought you said the sun isn't actually yellow. You heard it first. The sun is not yellow. The thing that keeps you alive and shit. Wait, the sun is not yellow. I think I missed that jello bit. A fuck ton of galaxies. 644 Trump heavy review. Achilles Corona Borealis. <laughs> I predicted the Area 51 raid and the coronavirus. This dude does his research. He's up, in his old content, it sounded like he was constantly yelling. The fact he had me thinking it for a whole day. It sounds offensive, but your accent too right made you think the sun is not jello. Shit is actually not jello. It only appears. Oh, yellow jello. <laughs> I was kind of confused as well. I, I, I did understand he said yellow, but I, was, I heard jello as well. And I was kind of like, wait, what? But I guess it is just accents. But hope you guys enjoyed this one, man. Another space video. I love these reactions so damn much. And if you want more from his top 10 facts, like part two, part three, part four, let me know. Or just other space videos in general. Just suggest them, man, because I love these videos so much. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Until next time, like, subscribe.